Good evening. Thank you, Kalpa Sakban of Blue. We appreciate your help. At this time, will everybody please stand for the national anthem? Comstock High School graduating class of 2022 ceremony. Our faculty and staff, K-12, takes great pride in their responsibilities to develop your children to the best that they can be. This is a great day for everyone, but for most of all, the parents and guardians of a graduating senior and for the students that will be receiving their diploma tonight. This is a great time to recognize and celebrate the students seated before you. Graduation from high school is a great accomplishment. All of you should be very proud. At this time, I would like to introduce some of the other individuals who have had a role in your son or daughter's education. Pamela Dickerson, President of the Board of Education. Matthew Schreiner, Vice President of the Board of Education. Dory Scholey, Secretary of the Board of Education. Sarah Lynn Brown, Trustee of the Board of Education. Aaron Howes, Trustee of the Board of Education. Dr. Jeffrey Canis, Superintendent of a School. Jill Anso, Assistant Superintendent of Comstock Schools, and the faculty and staff here tonight from Comstock Public Schools. My name is Jim Corstan, and I'm the interim high school principal. I want to thank everybody that had anything to do with helping out today and making this a special day for our graduating class of 2022. Our graduating class has a lot to be proud of. They have succeeded in all facets of the high school experience and are ready to pursue their next step in life. The life after graduation for the students can be filled with a lot of excitement, but also a lot of meeting of new challenges. Whether it be post-secondary education or the world of work, I know in my heart that Comstock Public Schools have prepared them to meet those challenges. This is a great class, and I wish them well in everything they do. At this time, I would like to introduce our first student speaker, Lacey Murdoch. Would you please come up here?
Good evening, family, friends, and the class of 2022. My name is Lacey Murdoch, and I am here tonight representing the senior class, in which we have hopefully become more family over the last four years, and not just class. My goal is to give you a peek into every individual sitting in front of me. The people they are, the things they love, the things that have led them to get out of bed every day to lead us to this moment. Thank you all for allowing me to speak for our class. Unlike seniors that have come before us, we were only fully here in or at CHS for two full years of high school. Many of us will have different perspectives on how or what happened during those four years, and there were probably well over a thousand, thousand ways to describe those experiences. Despite this, we have made it to the end. Our sophomore year cut short, our junior year mostly online, and our senior year with probably the most crazy, jam-packed attempt at making high school memories last. Despite this, we have persevered and have made every moment count while trying to have fun in every endeavor. Usually, these speeches are all about the future, what we could be and what we could accomplish. At the very least, we know our potential, and hopefully, we intend to fulfill it. Today, I want to look at our past and recognize what we've been capable of. Some of you have lost friends, family, homes, who struggled endlessly during these few years. I can't say that there was a reason for it or that it made you stronger, but what I can say is we survived. Throughout all of the hardship and struggle, you made it. And I personally can say I am extremely proud of each and every one of you. You are all a bunch of your best and worst memories tied together, a beautiful compilation of everything you've experienced. I hope that when you think of the bad, you remember your band concerts, your drama plays, the amount of food you door dashed during class, or, or even something as simple as laughing so hard at the lunch table in your cheeks hurt. I hope that you remember the bus rides home from away games, the pep assembly, and everything that made you excited about high school. I hope you look at the people watching you right now, those family and friends in the stands, those teachers sitting near us, who are waiting for you to finally receive your diploma and see you flourish. They are proud of you because you made it, despite every time something may have convinced you that you wouldn't. Knowing all of you in the past four years, I'm confident you'll succeed in most endeavors you pursue. Not all, because that is part of life. Failure is a learning curve that will all swing by. I know this because I've watched you all be kind and loyal and so honored by each other. You have all made the memories of a lifetime, one day after the next, to carry them. These memories and times of happiness are threaded together and will follow you along into your adulthood. When we go further and find ourselves hurt, we can look back and notice we survived. We will carry our thread of memories with us for as long as we live, inspired by our teachers, families, friends, and our experiences. I am beyond honored to say that I graduated from Hawkeye High School. Thank you for giving me the love, support, and memories I couldn't have gotten anywhere else. There is not a better group of people I would like to make these last four years amazing with. As Mr. Kirksey once said, go Colts! <laughs> Thank you, Lacey. Our next student speaker is Alec Petkoff.
Good evening, students, families, friends, and staff. My name is Alexander Patoff, and I welcome you to this year's graduation. Today, we recognize as a day when we can look back on events and look forward to those ahead. Because on our first day, we decided to take the risk to meet the uncertain without being completely prepared. Never would you think to be completely ready for a marching show when you had no experience marching before, but you still participated in festival. Never again would you be timid about giving it your all on the soccer field because you had won conferences once and could do it again. Never would I question my after school hours in Mr. Shenerfield's biology class in preparation for the AP Bio exam, although he does accuse me of not letting him leave school sometimes. That's true. And uh, we dedicated the time towards these experiences and we earned profoundly from our investments. So once it was the vibrance of a loud hallway in anticipation to see the homecoming festivities and the cadence that truly had a rhythm to follow. We were comfortable with our imperfections as long as we stayed on beat. Then we exited that hallway out towards the school buses where the cadence sounded once more, waiting for the reunion that was bound to happen at six. That evening, we got seated. Part of us followed school chants while others talked with friends. Some saw previous graduates and made their way for a new beginning. Most of all, we were all determined to create a core memory which our parents might have deemed to be a collection of some of our best experiences. Now this is one way to look at the chapter, and if others see it differently, then let it be because we all forge our own memories. Each day we would lose something out of pursuing something else. As simple as that said, it's true. See, I didn't sell glizzies because I was too busy studying for calculus. By the way, a glizzy is a hot dog. Modern terminology. Uh, regardless of what the trade-off might be, it was not a question of whether we would not. It was not a question of whether we would make the perfect choice. See, so like academics, you get started with our perfect plan because you somehow need to start. And like high school, there is no specific algorithm. Now picture this: you get back from losing a game at districts, knowing that it was your last. You question whether your team did as well as you wanted it to. Alternatively, setting a goal of getting an A in the class, but falling just short of that and instead receiving a B. We wanted to dilute a few memories from those that were altogether positive. Then we experimented with our identity, found out who we really were, and became comfortable with our vision for the future because there wasn't just one way to reach success. And with the route ahead still unclear, we somehow came back to step one. As adults, we must decide what is important to us, how to apply the values that we made in high school to this new world, and at the same time, to not be afraid of making changes. Kind of like the first day of high school and how... Uh, this is a page change, by the way. We decided to take that step into this uncertain world of valuable lessons and memories. So, besides our parents and their wisdom, we have ourselves and the unity that's possible from our common experiences. In fact, we've learned of the importance in uniting with the common purpose today, last week, last month, and in previous years. The reoccurring cycle of atrocity that we forbid and seek to halt is not merely defined by the moment of silence for those that had a dream. Yet justice today still allows for this silence to continue while people's dreams diminish into nothingness. They diminish into nothingness because tragedies like 19 mass shootings have occurred since that in Uvalde, Texas, in states like California, Tennessee, and Pennsylvania. Now I urge you to take a step towards an envisioned reform and empowering those that are stalled from their own future. Take a step towards reform because you can refine an idea into something more and know that even some adults with experience still haven't managed today's critical issues. So, as former President Obama said, be alive to one another's struggles. 
Keep leading and building your story, class of 2022. Keep leaving your mark on this imperfect world we know today, because the future has arrived, and tomorrow is not the story of your mishaps, but the story of your ambitions and how you will proceed every step of the way. All together, we look forward to the changes. All together, we look forward to the changes that you inspire and, like, like, and would like to congratulate you on this new beginning. Thank you. That's the end. some things but that's okay. <laughs> Our final student speaker is Amelia Hall. family, staff, students, and my fellow classmates. I am NHR's president, Amelia Hall. Today, June 3rd, 2022, has been a dream for some of us all our lives. But for others, it's a date that we've been dre dreading, both for the same reason. It is a ceremony that proves we are grown up. Luckily, we've been born into a generation with an incredible gift that enables us to treasure everything that we have learned and experienced and everyone that we have met along the way. That gift is technology. Every generation before us remembers a time without the internet or iPhone, and some say that, that this makes us unaware of our world, sheltered or not capable. But it makes us, but it actually gives us more resources to be better and brighter than those who have come before them. Over the past two years and during the global pandemic, we were able to keep in touch with friends and family, voice our opinions on the social and political climate, and kill the ridiculous amount of time that we have been given by watching Netflix or making TikToks. Technology has allowed us to find communities where we feel at home, which is the reason that it has become such a large, large and important part of our lives. The development of social media has given us the opportunity to create bonds with people that we might not have otherwise met, sometimes times of the way. It allows us to keep in touch with our beloved friends that have to leave us at the end of the school year and empowers us to be the generation that is able to spread change across the globe. It has provided us the opportunity to capture a moment in time, a memory that we can share with those that we love or look back on probably ourselves and can take with us the building blocks, our stories, into our futures. We are the next group of architects and fellow athletes, lawyers, artists, and musicians, public servants, electricians, factory workers, and teachers. We have the future of art in our hands, and that future is brighter than we have ever been imagined. Hearing the plans that some of us have has surprised me because we are reaching for the sky and even further. But I know that we can all get there. Our class has so much potential to change the world that we're living in today. And this is because of our mutual passion, dedication, and incredible knowledge. The memories that have been made from our time together, some of us from all the way back in kindergarten, and some of us since just this year, have been more than just memories, but also lessons for life that we will be able to take with us after high school. In the past four years, we have lived through so much worldwide history. But 
we have also been able to make, record, and share some of our own. Like playoff game wins, back-to-back -back conference championships, spontaneous trip with, trips with friends, streaming at prom, performing for the community, and of course, the daily fit check. Reaching today is an incredible achievement and memory that should be shared and can be. Thanks to our access to everything at our fingertips. Beyond just these memories, we have moments that we are able to share with each other. We are also able to spread awareness and news and make a difference in the lives of this world people, which is an astonishingly powerful tool that we have been given. We are the generation of change. It is up to us to save the planet, protect the rights of those who are unable to for themselves, put an end to hatred, and save our children from the violence that they are subjected to and terrified of. A fear that they are unable to escape, even at school. After the tragedy that was seen on December 14, 2012, at Sandy Hook, Sandy Hook Elementary School, we said never again. But since then, we have let over 2,500 more mass shootings happen, with little changes made in order to protect our youth from the leading cause of their death, guns. We saw it just last week in Uvalde, Texas, where 21 people lost their lives, 19 of them being elementary students. This was meant to be their last day of school, and instead was the last day that they were alive. Since a young age, maybe even perhaps as long as I can remember my time in school, I have found myself thinking about where I would hide if there was a threat in the school, how I would react, and what I would say to my parents if I had only 30 more seconds to tell them that I love them. This is a fear that unfortunately so many of us have and will continue to have unless we are able to make a change. This responsibility is something that is falling onto our shoulders now and will happen by speaking out against the violence that we face and by voting. Our actions can and will reach so many people and will be the reason that a difference is being made, whether this be locally, nationally, or globally. Because of the world that we were born into, we will be able to form a whole new one for our children and our children's children. Do not forget how capable each of you are to influence the world and how much potentially you have to be the good. Most, if not all of you, have a tool in your pocket, hands or purse, right now that you can use to challenge, challenge ideas and transform this life into something that you feel thrive in. I leave you today by asking a favor. Make your mark. Be memorable. Be bold. Be proud. And be the change that you want to see in the world. Because change starts with you. Thank you.
friends and family, please do your very best to hold all applause until the end. This is exciting, so we understand. Without further ado, Niara Ballinger, KVCC Merit Scholarship, KVCC Trustee Scholarship, Burger King Foundation Scholarship, Richmond Scholarship, Kaylee Brownell, Bronco Merit Scholarship, WMU Achievement Award, Keandra Burns, Richmond Scholarship. Yasmir Claire, SCAD Academic Honors Scholarship, SCAD On Campus Award, Amelia Hall, Bronco Merit Scholarship, Richmond Scholarship, Deb Dart Scholarship, Hayden Haskins, Bronco Merit Scholarship, Drew Hatton, CTE Outstanding Senior Scholarship, DJ Howard, KVCC Trustee Scholarship, Ethan Jackson, WMU Achievement Award, Bronco Merit Scholarship, Richmond Scholarship, Reminzi Scholarship, Rand James, KVCC Merit Scholarship, Richmond Scholarship, Reminzi Scholarship, Harley Martin, CTE Outstanding Senior Scholarship, Lacey Murdoch, Richmond Scholarship, Kate Quasney Scholarship, Alex Patoff, University of Michigan Full Tuition Grant, Charles Pratt Scholarship, Israel Patterson, Richmond Scholarship, Ernie Stafford Scholarship, Haley Proctor, Richmond Scholarship, Comstock Education Association Scholarship, Dom Hooty, University of Michigan Tuition Grant, Howard Yule Scholarship, Excellence in Education Scholarship, Matthew Searles, Richmond Scholarship, Taylor Stratton, Bronco Honors Scholarship, Richmond Scholarship, Brooklyn Velasquez, Richmond Scholarship, Lucario White, Fair State Provo Scholarship, Bulldog Bowling to the address of the seniors and their residents. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Jeffrey Tanis, and as I've introduced, I have the privilege of serving as the Comstock Public School Superintendent. On behalf of the Board of Education that is with me here today and the two that are not, we would like to thank all of our students, parents, guardians, relatives, friends, district faculty, staff, and administration that are attending this commencement ceremony today. Now I address my comments to the parents, relatives, and friends here. We offer you our sincerest appreciation for the many years of loyal support you've given our graduates. Because without it, a few of them, if any, would be here. Page turn. We hope that you enjoy the commencement and look back on it with fondness and pride in the years to come. Congratulations to all of you. Applause. To the district, faculty, staff, and administration, my colleagues in attendance today, we offer you our gratitude for a job extremely well done. You've heard what it's been like to teach and work in this pandemic. Countless hours of your work, toil, lesson planning, grading, instruction, leadership, perseverance, you name it, are represented in these graduates today. You have a heavy responsibility taking care of so many young minds, and we know your best efforts are evident in these students standing, sitting before us. Congratulations to all of you. Applause. Now, 
for the graduates of the class of 2022 seated before me, we, the school board, offer you a diploma. This document represents the completion of your high school education. However, we believe it symbolizes much more than that. The diploma is not the conclusion of your education. Rather, we believe you must realize that it signifies the end of the beginning of a lifetime of pursuit of knowledge. Your life is just starting, and you must continue to seek an education at every opportunity. Congratulations to you. On a side note, it's been very fun having Alex Patoff as my cross the street neighbor. Good luck at the University of Michigan. It's a great day to be a cult. Thank you. Okay, before I begin making my remarks to the class of 2022, I want to begin by saying I really, I really enjoyed being your principal. Over the last three months, I didn't get to know a lot of you personally for that very short time. But I can tell you, you, the students, love your school, and you respect it very well. Now, you may not want to go to class, but uh, at least you love your school. That's good. It shows in everything you do, and it was an honor and privilege. While you were walking in for graduation, there was a song that was being played that was called Let Them Be Little by Lone Star. Some of the lyrics go like this. So let them be little, because they're only that way for a while. Give them hope, give them praise, give them love every day. Let them cry, let them giggle, let them sleep in the middle. Oh, let them be little. Well, parents, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. So as you as parents sent these young ones to our school 13 years ago, and over the years they have grown into young men and women. As parents, relatives, and friends, you should be very proud of them to get to this great accomplishment. And you should look forward to and be excited about their next steps in their lives. Graduation is far from an end. It should be the beginning of all your tomorrows. Over the past several years, you as students have worked and studied, practiced and played, grown both mentally, many, mentally and physically, and now you're beginning to begin your lives as the adult community. For some of you, this may be the responsibility of a, a, a life, or a job, or going to school. Whatever course your future takes, it is my sincere hope that you look back at your educational experience at Comstock Public Schools as having you be, be prepared to be and meet the challenges that life presents. After this evening, we will greet you not as a student in our school, but as a citizen of the world. You do not end your life as a student as much as you begin your life as an adult in the adult world. With this new position, which you assume tonight, goes with many rights and privileges, but with also comes with many awesome responsibilities and demands. The fact that you have completed your studies and are part of this audience tonight means that the last 13 years have prepared you to accept those responsibilities in domain. Grab, excuse me, grab hold of that tomorrow and using what you have learned in the past, build it into a bright and shining future. It is the hope and prayer of everyone here that your pathways be straight and true and that your destination may be filled with happiness and alive with vibrant promise. One of the other songs that was being played here tonight 
It was called Ready to Fly. Here are some of the living lyrics. Are you ready to fly? Are you ready to soar? Are you ready to leave this world behind? Are you ready to spread your wings across the sky? I think it's time. I think you're ready to go. Are you ready to fly? It is our hope that you will always remember your high school days in some way and never forget the loving and caring people who somehow helped you along the way. So on behalf of the faculty and staff of Comstock High School, we wish every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your family. May the future be yours. You made it, you earned it, and you deserve it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. successfully met Board of Education policies requirement for graduation. I'm proud to introduce to you Mrs. Colleen Bruder, Mr. Jimmy Cotter, as a student-elected staff to announce the roll call of the class of 22. Presenting diplomas are Mrs. Pamela Dickerson and Mr. Matthew Stretcher, President and Vice President of the School Board of Education. Thank you. 
Justice, James Cosby. Sibley.
talent. Ahmad Deonshe Davis. Lucario White. Ariana 
everyone who participated in helping handing out the diploma. One more thing we have to do, but what we have to do first is for the graduating class of 2022, please stay. Thank you. 